hey hello dear swift learners how are you all i hope that everybody is fine and i ritika welcome you here at swift learn which is india's most sincere learning destination so here at swift learn you will be getting classes from grade 1 to 10 and these classes will be completely live and interactive here you have attention uh, mac, uh, personalized attention batch with maximum 6 students in every batch so that every student gets the attention she or he deserves and also you will have an academic mentor team apart from your teachers to track on your progress and to guide you if you get stuck anywhere here we cover the syllabus as per your school exam schedule so that you can perform very well in your school exams also there are some of key features of swift learn which adds cherry to the cake so these key features are detailed progress report after every 2 and 1/2 and 3 months you will be getting a progress report which will be kind of detailed analysis of your performance including your homeworks class works and your practice test then we have swift learn academic test series in which you can compete with the students of your grade you can see your position and you can work accordingly and also you can take unlimited practice tests which includes two categories of subjective and objective and subjective uh, test will further help you in answer writing practice so please book your free trial class to have this amazing experience of classes at swift learn and please subscribe to the channel if you are new press the bell icon and press on like button if you like this video so today what are we going to study we are going to study about natural calamities it is our part 1 so if you are here with me it is very easy for you to catch up right since it's our first part okay so in this today's session we will be learning about what is meant by natural calamities what is earthquake volcano and what are the precautions that we must be taking during an earthquake let's get started now uh, you might have seen uh, various natural calamities like cyclones storms earthquakes etc in maybe real and or maybe in the television right so what are these what what is meant by natural calamities what are these uh, cyclones storms uh, flood etc so the phenomena uh, such as uh, cyclone storms these are known as natural calamities or natural phenomena and what are they since they are you know occurring in nature on themselves they are not created by any humans okay therefore they are known as what natural calamities okay so it's a kind of phenomena which occurs in the nature and it is not produced by humans but it can affect humans and animals to a very great extent okay so volcanic eruptions uh, rains uh, floods earthquakes these are some of the natural calamities now some of the natural phenomena such as uh, tsunami cyclone earthquake these are very disastrous in nature and because of these many deaths can occur right so recently also we had many uh, uh, cyclone and flood which led to a uh, many deaths so these are all natural phenomena okay so they can be disastrous in nature and some of the natural phenomena like uh, you know rains they are not harmful to us okay but if the rain turns to be very dangerous it can take the face of flood and that will be very dangerous for us now let us quickly begin with the phenomena earthquake have you ever experienced earthquake i just to wish that nobody ever experiences this particular thing or any natural calamity because it is very very tough to experience it leads to loss of life property and what not so what is earthquake and how it can be prevented first of all it cannot be prevented we can never prevent any natural calamity right we cannot control it it is not in our hands but if it occurs there are some of the things that we need to take care of so that we can minimize this loss of life and property 
what happens is let's us uh, let us first talk about how earthquake occurs so our earth it is made up of many plates this particular crust of the earth the outer layer of the earth it is made up of many plates okay and when this plates they passed uh, you know they slip uh, against each other the earthquakes occur so the plates they are continuously moving uh, to very low speed but when they you know just uh, move upon each other okay or move like this they will uh, it will be resulting in earthquake and what happens in earthquake the ground shakes and it can result in cracks uh, in the houses and it can again lead to a very great destruction now earthquakes these are some of the pictures taken from a uh, earthquake so it can cause damage to buildings dams bridges okay and it can further uh, you know trigger another calamity such as flood landslide and tsunamis so whenever a uh, earthquake uh, you know an earthquake comes it can cause a huge huge damage to life and property now when an earthquake occurs under the sea it causes huge waves called tsunami now what happens when earthquake it occurs in the sea bed you know in the oceans or in the seas so it disturbs the water level and because of that earthquake tsunami can occur and tsunami waves it can be 15 meters high and the speed can be as high as 800 km per hour so when they reach the shore okay it can lead again to great destruction in the year 2004 the indian ocean earthquake it gave rise to a tsunami and that killed about 1 lakh 70000 people so it can be as massive as this and it can lead to this much of destruction see uh, how many people lost their life and what about the property and how how hard it is to get back to track again so these natural uh, phenomena it can be sometimes very very destructive some of the natural phenomena such as tsunami cyclones are disastrous in nature and they can result in many deaths so we just now saw because of the tsunami in indian ocean in the year 2004 it killed almost 1 lakh 70000 people now how do we uh, you know measure earthquake how do we uh, know that how uh, hazardous the earthquake has taken place so it is measured by a device which is known as seismograph okay there is one device or oh, you can see it here uh, it is measured using this particular device and the scientists or the people who study about earthquake they are known as seismologist next talking about the intensity intensity means uh, the level of destruction it has created kitna gehra impact pada hai because of the earthquake it is measured on the scale known as richter scale okay it has numbers और जितना भी इंटेंस इफेक्ट देता है इट गिव्स द नंबर अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट एंड दैट इज हाउ वी नो दैट हाउ हजार्डस आर हाउ हजार्डस द अर्थक्वेक वॉज नाउ रिक्टर स्केल सो इट डिस्क्राइब्स हाउ मच एनर्जी इट इज रिलीज बाय एन अर्थक्वेक ओके एंड फॉर एन इंक्रीज ऑफ पॉइंट Uh, for an increase of one, the amplitude of the largest surface wave is ten times greater, and about thirty-two times as much energy is released. So even one one number, it can lead to ten times greater effect, right? Now talking about precautions during earthquake. So we just now saw that we cannot be preventing these natural phenomena. All we can do is we can take care of ourselves. We can take care of things around us so that the impact could be minimized so first of all the buildings in seismic zone so what are seismic zones uh, the area where earthquakes are prone to occur jahan earthquakes no normally you know they they keep they keep on occurring so the buildings in these kind of zones it should be designed to withstand tremors due to earthquake so it should be taken care and the building should be designed in such a way ki uh, jo bhi tremors hote jo bhi vibrations hote during earthquake it can be you know it can withstand 
Next, light material like wood and light roof etc. are used in building construction instead of heavy materials. So since these regions are very prone to earthquakes, so for building or for construction things, we should be using some light materials like maybe wood or uh, the roof could be of light materials instead of using very heavy materials. Next. Uh, heavy materials like water heater should not be fixed on walls because when earthquake occurs you know everything just breaks and uh, it falls here and there so it again can lead to uh, more loss of life so it should not be installed on the walls and all buildings should be equipped with fire fighting equipments because with earthquake it brings many things right short circuiting etc etc so in case of fire we should be having equipment to fight it now what to uh, take care of when we are at home first of all take shelter under a table so just uh, if you have a heavy table just go uh, under it and be calm first of all we should always be calm do not panic Next, if you are in a bed, do, uh, do not get up and protect your head with a pillow. So take a pillow, protect your head with, uh, with the pillow because anything it can fall on you. So it's better to take care and stay away from all the heavy objects because all objects are, you know, they are falling here and there. So in that case, you should be taking care of yourself. Now, in case you are outdoor, first of all, quickly find an open area. Okay, we never know when a building can fall down. So it, it is always a good option to find an open area which is uh, away from trees, uh, buildings, power lines and just lie on the ground. Okay, lay jaw ground. With. Now, next thing is it is um, it's obvious that we can always not find an open area. Okay, but if you do not find an open area, just try to um, remain away from buildings, especially trees, buildings and some of the power lines. Okay. Next, if you are in a bus or car, then slow down the vehicle and do not get out till the tremor stop. If you are in a new vehicle, just slow it down, do not panic and don't get out. Next, talking about volcano. So volcano, it is a kind of hill or mountain like formation which you can see here. Okay, it has vent. Vent is the opening that you can see here. And uh, from this vent, the magma and gases and various molten, li molten liquids, it comes out of the earth. Okay, and because of volcanic eruption, sometimes earthquake can also occur. Now, what is magma? The molten uh, uh, rock materials that comes out of the ground, it is known as lava, right? It consists of various things. And when it is below the earth's surface, it is known as magma. So, when earth is under, it is called magma. And when earth is bahar aya, it is known as lava. Okay? So, it's a uh, kind of molten rock. And when it comes to the surface of earth, over the duration of time, it solidifies. Now, volcano, we are having uh, different types of volcano. Uh, if I talk about Barren Island, which is located in one of the island in Andaman, okay, it is one of the active volcano, which is located in India. Now, active volcano, matlab, it can erupt at any point of time. It, it generally keeps on erupting. So, there is no surety when and where, uh, when it can erupt. So, some of the active volcanoes in the world are um, Mount Etna, Mount Fiji, Mount Erebus and Barren Island in Andaman and Nicobar. So in India there is only one active volcano which is Barren Island. Next is Dormant Volcano. So Dormant Volcano are kind of sleeping. Okay, So they have not erupted in the recent time but there is no surety because they can wake up any time. That is they can erupt any time. And next is Extinct Volcano. They are just dead okay so these are the volcanoes which have stopped working permanently and uh, there are very very high chances and there are like a hundred percent chance that they will never ever erupt again okay so let us revise what is an earthquake so earthquake is a kind of natural phenomena which occurs when the tectonic plates when the uh, plates on the crust they passed over each other Okay, and how is earthquake caused? So, earth, uh, the crust of the earth, it is made up of plates, right? These plates are continuously moving and when these plates, they come or they pass upon each other, it leads to earthquake.
and what is vel volcano and name the type of volcanoes so well volcano it is a kind of mountain or hill like structure it has a vent or opening okay i'll just show it so uh yeah so we have a mountain like structure here okay and it has opening here out of which molten rock and other materials they come out okay so when these various materials come out they are known as lava and inside the earth they are known as magma and type of volcanoes we are having basically three type of volcanoes active dormant and we have extinct volcano so active volcano they can erupt any time uh, in india we are having barren island which is the only active volcano present in india it is located at andaman uh, island then we have dormant so these are kind of sleeping volcanoes but they can wake uh, any time that is they can erupt any time and extinct volcano they have not erupted over a long long time and therefore uh, it has be, uh, they have been declared as extinct now earthquakes they can happen in any kind of weather it's not like uh, in rainy seasons we have high chances of uh, earthquake it can happen in any weather tsunami waves it can be as huge as 100 feet and it is also known as killer waves because all, all uh, obviously they bring with them a lot of destruction so let's do an activity to see what we have learnt what should be done during an earthquake first and foremost thing that we should follow is go out in open area a natural event that causes great damage to life and property it is known as natural calamity earthquake of which magnitude of the following causes maximum damage so on richter scale the maximum number is 8 so 8 is very very high intensity of earthquake it is measured on seismograph no it is measured on richter scale so what are the things that we have learned today we learned about natural calamities we learned about volcano earthquakes and some of the precautions we should be taking during earthquake so it was a very easy very small chapter i hope that you might have understood every single thing that we have learned today we will be meeting in next session in which we will be learning something more about natural phenomena so stay tuned keep learning take care thank you